Hello everyone. Hola. Bonjour. Welcome back to my channel. So recently I was watching Kathleen Lights and Samantha I can't pronounce her second name, but she's a Canadian YouTuber. So I noticed that they had done a video basically bringing out products that they had purchased or bought and never, never ever used. <laughs> I have so many products in my collection that I've actually purchased myself and I've never used or even opened. <laughs> so I went through my collection last night and yeah, it was actually quite hard to pick out all the products that I haven't used before but I've narrowed it down. How cute is this wee top though? Leopard print is so calm back at the minute and I don't know whether I'm loving it or hating it because I've never actually liked leopard print but I bought this wee top to like go on my holidays because it's like cropped. Um, oh, flash in our way. All right, so yeah, quick rundown. These are just basically products that I have purchased myself and have never used. So today I'm going to be doing a full face tutorial using all these products I've bought and never used. Take a shot for every time I say never used. First things first, primer was a wee bit of a difficult one because whenever it comes to primer, I kind of find that I always like to, once I get a new primer basically, I always like to use it straight away or use it eventually. So for primer, this is the Bega Backlight Priming Filter. Oh, I have used it before. Shit. Hold on. I have these two primers here and these are both by e.l.f. So this is the natural glow lotion um, and it says nothing on the back. E.l.f. is so funny. They're so basic and they're just like, it's a primer, go over it. <laughs> and this just says e.l.f. Brilliant. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to go for the e.l.f. natural glow lotion. But as I was saying, I think this video will be quite interesting as well because it's kind of like a first impressions all rolled into one. That is so funny though, that packaging, like how it genuinely says nothing. <laughs> Elf just don't give a shit, they're such badasses. <laughs> and I really like that. Look how fresh and healthy that's made my skin look. Oh wow. That is so pretty. Oh wow. That's the Elf Natural Glow Lotion. Ew. For a foundation, I didn't really have a foundation that I haven't used before. Oh no, I'll tell you a lie. <laughs> God, this video is a mess already. But I have two foundations and they are the Fenty Beauty foundation. I have used this once, but this was whenever I first got it last year, which was just after Christmas. So it's technically coming up to a year. And this is in the shade 220. And then I got the Stila Aqua Glow Serum Foundation and I have never used this, but it's really, really liquidy. And I, I don't actually know why I bought this, to be honest. It just doesn't really seem to be my type of foundation because I'm kind of like full coverage or nothing kind of gal. And yeah, I just don't know how it's going to work, but will we try and see? I think we'll just try and see. The colour seems to be okay, I suppose, but we'll know more whenever I start to blend it out. So I'm just going to take a Tarte Beauty sponge. I just cleaned this yesterday. Oh no, it's Megan already. I hate that. Oh lordy lord. I think the colour is also helping with the fact that I do have a bit of fake tan on. Um, if I didn't have fake tan on, I think this colour would be a wee bit too orange for my skin tone. Definitely. Mm. That doesn't sound nice at all. Okay, so I'm just going to do two more pumps. Actually building up okay, but we'll see once we blend it in even more. It's we blend them out and sitting on my skin fine with the e.l.f. glow lotion. Definitely not really my shade, to be honest. Um, light, medium. What the hell. I just find that my face now just looks very yellow slash orange compared to my chest now even. Oh my, oh my word, I look like a block of cheese. Oh dear. For concealer, and this actually might come as a shocker. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is in the shade Fair Warm. 
This was actually a really popular at this stage. I think nearly everybody had this concealer. Bar me! Oh, I like the applicator. It's actually spreading out quite a lot. Holy poo. Oh my word, that was literally one dunk. What? I don't even get that with my tart shaped tip. Just put on a wee bit more because I'm a extra. <laughs> I like the concealer and the reason I like the concealer is because it's going quite well with this foundation. Like it's not a complete mask, if you know what I mean. I just think it's actually just sitting really nice with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. If you were to put that concealer on with like a really sheer to light coverage foundation and then you go on with the Tarte Shape Tape, it's like whoa coverage, like full, full coverage. The rest of your skin is all just sheared out. There's just no balance there where I just think that these two products have kind of balanced each other out because they're both like sheer coverage but they're buildable as well to full coverage. So I picked um, a powder to set my outer face area and then I chose a powder to set my under eyes slash concealer. This is the MAC um, for professional use only. What are you? Oh <laughs> it says at the back. Um, set powder. Well that narrowed it down. It is white. Which is fair enough. That's grand. That was kind of what I was looking for and clearly what I had in mind whenever I bought this. But I've never used this before because I had bought this whenever like Becking first came on trend and I didn't really know how to do it or what powder to actually use. Um, so I just actually never used it before. And I think I bought this in Amsterdam. And then just whatever is like left on my brush, I kind of like to just slap myself across the forehead. Just like that. <laughs> so I'm not going to let that back because I'm scared. Um, because like, look at the state of that. Jesus. <laughs> okay, well it definitely set my face, that's for sure. There's no denying that. But there's like funky stuff going on. Like, I don't know if you could be able to tell, but there's my nose just looks really funky. Ew. Ew! Then to set the outer perimeter of my face, this is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Perfecting Powder Foundation. So I'm just going to use like a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to use this to slap my face. So for highlighter today, I also have two. <laughs> but the reason I have two is because I'm not too sure about one of the shades. But the first one is the Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter by Maybelline. I'm just not too sure about the shade of it. Like it does look light enough. Um, but no, I just... Ooh, what the hell was that noise? Um, but then I also have this e.l.f. highlighter in Moonlight Pearls and this was the highlighter that was quite raved about through a YouTube where you kind of have to like scrape the top layer off. I think I'm just going to go with this one first to see because I usually like to go in with two highlighters. I usually like to go in with two highlighters anyway. <laughs> and this is the Morphe M510. So what does everybody think of the new Jaclyn Hill brushes? I am dying to get her vault. Like I'm not even joking. <laughs> I really changed that conversation really quickly. Like what do you think of her brushes? I'm dying to get her vault. <laughs> but yeah I'm really looking forward to getting her vault. Even though I've heard and seen mixed reviews but I really want to purchase it myself and do like a first impressions tutorial just to see if it's any different. I'm going to go into the e.l.f. one now. When it comes to her brushes, I, just, I, I sometimes can't seem to justify spending a hundred and... is it a hundred and sixty-five pounds or something like that? I don't know, or dollars or something. I don't know, I just can't really seem to justify spending that amount of money on like Morphe brushes. Like I'm not dissing Morphe but I just, I don't know. Next we have blusher and this is the Milani Baked Blusher in the shade Rose de... Rose de Oro? Oh, it's really dark on camera. What? See these wee brushes? They do my head in. Hmm. 
I never thought I would see the day where I would put blusher on my cheeks. I'm not even joking. Because I've only started off using blusher, I do kind of prefer a blusher that is buildable and not as pigmented. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Can you still see this here? But yeah, I think there's just kind of like a sometimes like a happy medium whenever it comes to blusher. Like I personally prefer a blusher that you can build up to however pigmented you want it. Okay, so for bronzer, <laughs> um, I'm really scared to use this. I think I actually bought this because of Chloe Morton. Um, so this is the MAC bronzer in the shade Dark Deeps. So this is their mineralized skin finish powders. Um, it actually doesn't look that dark, but even though I am tanned, I still have to keep in mind that my hair is fairly blonde at the minute, so I kind of have to watch what I'm doing. Jesus. So because this is quite dark, I think I'm just going to like, boop. So here's me like slagging off the prices of, well not necessarily slagging off the prices of Jaclyn Hill's brushes. And this is my bronzer brush. The handle broke off and fell off like about two years ago. <laughs> and I kept on like just like shoving it in there like every now and again, but then I just was like, no, I can't cope with this every day. <laughs> But this is literally my favourite wee bronzer brush. Um, this is nearly as old as me, I'm not even joking. No, I actually quite like that. Sometimes I always find like I have so much product on my cheeks, like I have setting powder, I have another powder, I have foundation, I have concealer, I have blusher, I have highlighter, I have bronzer. Okay, so eyebrows are done, so before I jump onto eyes, I think I'm just going to do my lips first. Okay, so for liquid lipstick, this was actually quite a hard choice because I had so many and I had so many of these. And this is the Jeffree Star Blur Liquid Lipsticks. I have so many of his liquid lipsticks and I don't know why I don't use them. It's not because I have anything towards him. I just prefer certain formulas to his formula and I think that's what it is. This is in the shade Hunty. I'm like, like I don't know if I'm being picky, but... I literally feel like I'm having to dunk in so many times. Like, there's barely anything on the applicator. And it's just, I don't know. Okay, so next up is eyeshadow. And I have quite a few eyeshadow palettes, but whenever I was actually looking in them there, I kind of did notice that I have kind of used a few shades out of the palette. So I have the Shan XO and BH Cosmetics palette. So I have actually used these two before, so that's that of the equation. And then I have this Pixie palette. So I've used these two shades here, so that's that also out of the equation. The only palette I have left in my collection that I haven't used before is the Too Faced Best Year Ever 2018 palette. I also have some pigments here that I haven't actually used and I have so many of these. The total section is full of these and I've never actually used them before. <laughs> so I'm just going to use this one and this is in the shade Indirect. Okay. Oh that's so pretty! Yeah, definitely. I think we're just gonna go for that. These are literally the only brushes that I have. I could just go and get brushes up there, but I, I don't want to move. <laughs> so I'm just going to clean these brushes on myself. I'm just going to go into, obviously, the Too Faced palette first. And I'm just going to run that just in my crease. I'm going to go into the pink shade right above it, it's kind of like a pastel pink. And I'm just going to run this in my crease also. So far I'm not seeing any problems whatsoever with the palette. <laughs> it's just pretty basic, it's nothing special, it's pigmented enough. You know it's not the most pigmented palette I've used. It's not the worst, it's not the best. But we'll see. For the pigment, and I don't actually know if I mentioned what pigments these are. <laughs> Sorry. But these are the Makeup Revolution Pure Pigments. They're basically just like a loose eyeshadow and they're shimmery. That's all. So I'm just going to take that on a Kira Daily like buffing, smudging 
brush. This is the Pixi Makeup Fixing Spray. I kind of use this for like my pigments and stuff because I don't like spraying this on my face. Um, I just find it very aggressive. So I've just tapped off the excess slash all of it. Oh no, it's still actually coming out. I wonder why it's amazing. Will that be a wee bit better? I think that's a wee bit better. Yes, it is. I would use my finger, but I can't get my f my finger in the tub because I'm a nail. It's like, eh. Okay, so I'm actually now just going on with this eye with the pigment without actually spritzing my brush. And it actually didn't really need spritzed, <laughs> actually. Um, God. I'm going to go into the Too Faced palette again. And there's this shade here that I didn't actually notice and it's called White Christmas. I'm just going to use that to highlight my inner corner. Ooh. I wonder am I going to look pretty today? <laughs> I always sometimes find that like I don't do any makeup tutorials that are like pretty. I am doing my new series soon and it is a Disney series. <laughs> I think I've mentioned that before anyway. I'm not going to be doing anything cute or nice or anything. See this is what I mean, I'd never do anything cute or nice. Based on uh, the bad guys, Disney villains. <laughs> I haven't done too much research just yet, but yeah. Um, so yeah, I have two mascaras. I have this MAC one and it doesn't actually say on it what it is. It just says MAC, 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 MAC. Then I have this Gigi Hadid um, mascara and this was in collaboration with Maybelline. And this is the one that has the fibers on one end and then the mascara on the other. I'm gonna try the fibers first. Oh no. What if the fibers go into your eyes though? Oh my god, I really like that mascara. Darn it! <laughs> I was really wanting to hate it. <laughs> For lashes today, I'm just going to be using my Emma lashes by T Lashes. Um, I will link down below where you can purchase these lashes. And yes, they are named after me. These obviously aren't lashes that I haven't used before, but this lash glue I have never used before. This is the Duo Brush On Adhesive with vitamins. I don't give a shit if there's vitamins in this or not. I don't think I've mentioned this on my channel before, but I the reason why I stick to like the same eyelash glue is because I tend to take reactions to eyelash glue. So uh, fingers crossed I don't take a reaction to this eyelash glue. <laughs> Okay, so now for lower lash line, where is my mascara? Um, where are you, my wee darling? I'm oh, here. So I'm not wanting to do too much mascara on my lower lash line because I say I kind of want to keep this like pretty and all, you know? So just literally that. If you wanna be my lover, you gotta get with my friends. Okay everybody, so this is the completed makeup look with a, basically a full face of products that I have never used before and you know what, I was pleasantly surprised although at the same time I was kind of thinking well how bad could it be because these are all products that I bought obviously for some reason or other um, so they couldn't be that bad you know. Actually the one product that I think I will definitely continue to use will be the MAC setting powder. It's underneath my eyes. <laughs> my under eyes are so blurred it is crazy. I do not own and I've never owned a powder to ever do that before. I'm definitely going to venture out with this stuff. Thank you so so much for joining me on today's video and I have a hair in my mouth Got it! So yeah, thank you so much for joining me in today's video and I hope to see you guys all in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. What what, what the hell was this? <laughs> Until next time, I'll see you later.